Or for new entrepreneurs hoping to turn ideas into a profitable business, lack of experience can spell disaster. Now, I visited Union Kitchen right here in Washington. It's a shared kitchen space for chefs launching their own startups and working side by side with established food entrepreneurs. I explored how collaboration is turning their passion for food into profits. What is it? What is it called? We're making a lot more stuff. Sandwiches, salads, and soups. Teeny pies. Dairy-free, egg-free banana muffins. I sell the most cookies at this time of year. We're often doing a variety of different events. It's hard to start a business. If I wanted to do this on my own, I mean, those ovens are expensive. It's really nice working in a communal kitchen because you don't have the overhead costs of owning your own space. We pay for our own prep space and uh, our own storage, but we get to have shared facilities, uh, cooking, cleaning. What business does this? We're not like a restaurant, we're not like a caterer, we're not like a coat packer or a snack maker, you know? We're, we're all those things mixed into one. And then we realized as well that in joining our kitchen, there was so much more that a food entrepreneur needs. The food and the recipes were essentially the easy part. I had figured those figured out, we knew how to make delicious food. We didn't know how to scale appropriately. We didn't know how to do our purchasing efficiently. What are my product lines? What's going to be my most popular item? So who's your lawyer for your contracts? Who's your accountant? How do you pay your taxes? We started to realize that we could layer those on to just this being a kitchen so that you join the kitchen and you learn and grow your business. Look at this. We do everything from branding and identity, creating logos for companies. We do a lot of packaging, particularly food packaging, marketing materials, digital communications. And one of the most important things when you're first starting a business is to have just like a very strong brand image. Um, really great packaging is one of the first things that's gonna get your products on shelves. I think that's the most difficult part, you know, as we talk about food production in America and food distribution, and the most difficult thing is getting your food in front of consumers. For me, this feels like step one before owning a storefront. But it definitely has its challenges. It sometimes gets a little tight when everybody is in here. It's a lot of shared space, shared equipment. Oh, do you need something? Do you need to get something out of there? Oh, okay. Thank you. And it's like a giant Tetris game. Like I'm like moving things all over the place. It is much more challenging. There are many, many more aspects of the business that are complicated than just cooking for people. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm learning to. I'm. I, you know, I ha I know I had this recipe. I know it was something that I wanted to do. Right now, I'm learning to run a business as I'm running a business. But figuring out how to translate what you might like to do at home into a business has a lot of steps. There's finances involved, managing staff, managing space. And that was a big lesson to learn, and luckily I learned it in other kitchens, various kitchens across the United States, but for people who don't necessarily have that option, I think this is a great place to come and see if it is something that you want to do every day. We can share tips, we can share best practices, we just have like a shoulder to cry on if we need it, you know, and I feel like I've learned a lot by being here because I've been able to see other businesses and other stages of development and kind of get a good idea of like how I wanted to grow. In the last two years, we've had 14 members leave us to open their own storefronts. I think it's huge because now they're in neighborhoods, they're in communities where, where they're helping to set the culture and they're helping to develop it where otherwise it might be an empty storefront or it might be, you know, a, a fast food joint. I actually am pretty proud of the way it turned out. I was very nervous dropping my life. It was very secure, you know. So sort of like leaving that old life behind and going on this big journey to pie. Um, it was really intimidating, and I think if I, if I knew what the end result was going to be, I would have just said, don't be quite so scared. <laughs> there is no time like the present. Just go for it and find a space like, you know, like Union Kitchen where you get the support. We tell people, don't be worried about whether you will sell. Be worried about whether you can keep up with the demand. Have an idea of what you want to do. Build your skill set to do so and jump in and do it.